It's that time of year again. It seems everything's pumpkin or pumpkin spice related. So today I'm showing you a fabulous no-bake dessert that combines two classic dessert recipes and I guarantee you you're going to absolutely fall in love with it. Let's make this beautiful no-bake pumpkin pie cheesecake on the One Pot Chef. First things first, we're going to work on our cookie base. So into a bowl, I've got 250 grams of plain sweet cookies, which I have just crushed up in the food processor. If you don't have a food processor, you can stick them into a Ziploc bag and give them a good bash with something heavy. Good kitchen therapy, that. Now, if you're in the US, graham crackers would be the best choice. If you're in the UK, digestive biscuits. Here in Australia, I'm going for some butternut cookies or even just something plain like milk arrowroot. Now to that, I'm going to add in 100 grams of butter, which I've just melted. And we're just stirring that together until everything's combined. Ideally, and I say this in every cheesecake video, but ideally the best consistency is for it to clump together a bit like wet sand. That way, it's sort of, when you press it up against the side, it sort of holds its shape. That's the way we want it. So just give that a good stir. Next, I've got a 20 centimeter or eight inch spring form cake pan. That's the one where the side comes off with a little latch. I've lightly greased it with a bit of spray on oil and I've lined the base with some nonstick baking paper. And we're just gonna transfer our cookie mixture in there. And just using the base of a flat bottom glass, we're just going to press down the mixture to flatten it and just get it slightly up the sides. And we're just going to pop this into the fridge to chill while we work on the rest of our ingredients. In another bowl, I've got two cups or about 500 millilitres of whipping cream. And what I'm going to do is just beat this until it's nice and thick. That's lovely and thick and it has nice soft peaks. That's just what we're looking for. We're just going to set this aside while we work on the rest of the ingredients. Time to work on the cream cheese mixture. So into a big bowl, I've got two blocks of Philadelphia style cream cheese, about 500 grams total. And we've got it at room temperature because we want it to be nice and soft and easy to beat. If you use it straight out of the fridge, it becomes very difficult to beat and you end up with a weird lumpy cheesecake, which we don't want. To that, we're gonna add in half a cup of firmly packed brown sugar and half a cup of white sugar. I'm using brown sugar because it helps to add that sort of light background caramel flavour which comes from the treacliness of the brown sugar and so it isn't too overpowering I'm sort of using a bit of the white sugar as well to balance it out. Now all we need to do is beat the cream cheese and the sugars together until they are smooth and creamy. Now, it wouldn't be a pumpkin pie cheesecake without pumpkin. Now, if you're in North America, you've got the convenience of pumpkin that comes in cans. It's already been peeled and chopped and cooked and mushed, and it's ready to go. Here in Australia, we don't get it. So I'm doing it from scratch. I just simply took 500 grams of pumpkin, and I peeled it and took the seeds out, and I steamed it, and then mashed it. So we've got 500 grams of pumpkin going in. It's pumpkin puree a teaspoon of vanilla extract and a tablespoon of pumpkin spice. Now, for those of you outside of North America, pumpkin spice doesn't seem to be too common, but believe it or not, it's more common than you think because most of the places in the world, they sell pumpkin spice under the name mixed spice. And it's basically a spice mix that contains things like cinnamon, nutmeg and allspice. So all you need to do is go and have a look in your spice aisle for mixed spice or something that contains those three spices and you're ready to go. Now all we need to do is beat this until it's nice and smooth and consistent. Now you remember that whipped cream we did just before? We're just going to add a little bit in at a time, just a good blob of it. And what we're going to do is we're going to gently fold it through the cream cheese mixture. We don't want to beat it too hard because we don't want to let the air out of it that we've beaten into it when we whipped it. But we just want to mix it in, get it till it's integrated in, add another blob of it and just keep repeating that until it's all completely mixed together. 
And that's just about perfect. Time to put our cheesecake together. I'm going to carefully spoon the cream cheese mixture onto the base. Smooth out the surface so it's relatively even. And that's ready to go into the fridge to chill for at least three hours, preferably overnight or until the cheesecake has set. While our cheesecake is setting in the fridge, I thought I'd take this opportunity to remind you to check out my social media. Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. Links in the video description underneath this video on YouTube. And speaking of YouTube, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Click the subscribe button and the little notification bell next to it. That way you won't miss out on any of my new videos. It's been a few hours and our pumpkin pie cheesecake has set. So we're just going to carefully release it. I'm going to start by using a flat bladed knife to just gently go around the outside edge of the cheesecake just so it doesn't stick I'll just release the cake tin and just very carefully take it slowly lift the outer edge off perfect and here we have a slice of our completed no-bake pumpkin pie cheesecake looking absolutely gorgeous this creamy orange colored dessert is absolutely stunning. You can really smell the amazing spices and that wonderful sweet brown sugar mixture in there as well. A lovely thick crust. You're gonna absolutely adore this. How stunning is that? Right, time for a taste. Mmm. Oh my, that's gorgeous. <laughs> mm. It's creamy and smooth. You can definitely taste the pumpkin and the pumpkin spices. You've got that lovely background of sort of brown sugar treacliness to it, which gives it that wonderful pudding flavour to it. And I'll just try a bit of the base to go with it too. Mmm. Perfect, crispy, crumbly, just the way I like it. Well, I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Check out my other videos at onepotchefshow.com. And until next time, see you later. As no baked cheesecakes go, this is quite a soft setting cheesecake. You can see it's very soft there, but it's been quite a hot day today as well, so that doesn't help. But if you want to, you can pop this into the freezer for about an hour after you finish chilling it. It will firm it up a bit more and make it a bit easier to slice. But that being said, I didn't have that much trouble with this. And if you like a soft cheesecake, you're going to love this. Mmm.